lovelies so welcome to the part two of how i do my hair so part one i will link it here uh, was how i get my hair to this stage so i blow dried my hair with a paddle brush and um, as you know i like big hair this is far too flat so now i will show you how i make my hair bigger it is a lot of work but unfortunately i've got fine thin hair and it's very flat now i've learned this trick what i'm going to show you now from i don't remember this girl's name um i will link her channel down below harmonize something like this one of you actually told me about this channel and she is a girl after my own heart she likes big hair and hair method works fantastically so that's what i'm going to do so first of all i am going to spray especially the ends of my hair with the way memory mist which is a um heat protectant and it keeps your style in place the next thing we are going to section our hair and we're only gonna section the top part just above your eyebrows or wherever you want your volume to start so I'm going to gather all this hair And I will clip it now you will need straighteners some sort of back combing comb and Aveda air control light hold hairspray and this is a must and I really agree and um, this girl sorry I can't remember her name uh, said that nothing works for this technique like this and it's true so I have bought it and I've been loving it so you need this hairspray so what you start to do is take little section, hold your hair up quite tight and then very tightly back on just about an inch and then spray it with this spray like this. It's very important to hold your hair up, not down and back combing it. You back combing it underneath. So you just back on the very root and you go around your section like this I tell you this works so well that my hair stays like that with volume for three days okay so now you need to let this hairspray dry because you don't want to put your straightness on wet hair because you will get that crackling sound and we don't want that so i will show you in a minute when this is dry what you do next okay the hairspray is dry so what you do now you leave that lift that piece of hair you take your straightness you hold your hair up again you clamp your hair at the root and then slide it down in that sort of motion and can you see what you do you basically freeze that back combing with a hairspray and that is not going to go anywhere and you do that with every piece that you've back combed And there you go so now we're going to take the next section of the hair all around 
I'm probably not as good at it as she is so I advise you to go and watch her and we're gonna do the same with these pieces I don't know how good this is for your hair but remember I probably just wash my hair twice a week so I would only do this twice a week it's not so good doing it here it's nice to have a mirror behind to see what you're doing and again I'm going to wait for this hairspray to to dry and I will go around it with my straighteners I'm not sure this comb is the best for this type of back combing. I think you might be better off with a comb that just has very fine one row of um, teeth. I'm not that good at back combing, so um, you just use whatever you feel comfortable with. Let's do another section. Okay, now we are at the top. Um, I do this a bit differently because that depends where do you like your volume mostly on the sides or on the top. I like you on the top. So I'm going to flip my hair this way and from here, can you see already the volume? I will adjust the rest of this hair and see where I want to put more of that back combing. So I think I do another one here because I like my top to be really high up. And then I will do it a bit under here you want to leave like the middle not back comb so you can a bit cover this back combing if you know what I mean So wait for that to dry, we straighten it and then we will be done. So I used uh, the technique and the idea of this girl who is by the way beautiful. Please go and watch her and let her know I send you over there. Um, but I do the front a bit differently. Uh, her hair is also much longer than mine. Okay, so now I'm going to find my parting. I'm going to straighten my fringe. And voila I haven't even done anything so all this looks very piecey but all you do now is just with your fingers disturb tiny bit all this
back combing and then spray it with a hairspray um, I'm going to play with it a bit I can't see what my back looks like I will have to go and sort it out with another mirror brush it smoothly and um, that will stay like this for three days and now people were asking her does she brush this you don't brush it at all just leave it as it is you don't need to brush it you you can brush just the ends of your hair but you leave that as it is and when you go to wash your hair instead of trying to brush that back combing out don't do it just wet your hair and work shampoo in it shampoo will dissolve all that um, hairspray and you will be fine because if you s try to brush out all this back combing that's when you can break your hair so just don't touch it and here is your finished look so you've got straight hair but with loads and loads of volume i hope you enjoyed this video everything will be linked down below thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye